was good. What I'm sharing with you is the development and thought process to the growing NFT collection I've created. So far, it's four swag dragons, and I've uploaded them onto OpenSea, which is basically a marketplace where people can buy NFTs with Ethereum. What most people don't tell you is that I paid $120 to post my first one, right? Why, well, why, well, they have what you call gas fees that are paid up front to get the blockchain going. Anyone who wants to buy your NFT would have to use the cryptocurrency Ethereum to buy it. It's a cool concept and I think it's going to grow faster than we can imagine in the next few years. But to be honest, I've slowed down on making them because they haven't been getting the traction that I've liked. Most of the popular collections have a whole marketing scheme with elaborate perks that come with buying in on their collection. It's not just art that people are buying. It's almost like buying a VIP pass to whatever they got going on. And I tip my hat off to them. As an artist, it already takes a while to come up with a concept to develop the art, but to then create perks for every single part of the collection is another battle in itself. But yeah, check out my NFTs at OpenSea under the name Bridge Branders and you'll see my swag dragons. Who knows, they may be worth something one day. Also follow me on Instagram at Artware Style to get to, to get to know me a little bit better. Yeah, basically with these, um, the swag dragons is little dragon characters and they have a little swag to them. They have a little style, um, street style. Uh, I'm going to have them uploaded on here and you can take a look and see. Uh, I need to get back to it. Um, but yeah, check me out. Let me know what you think in the comments below.